So I talked the other day about this, <laughs> these Disney princesses, and I thought I'd covered it. I was like, you know, I, I pretty much gave that everything that I needed to. And then I, I got to thinking more about the subject and I got the more I thought about it, the more I got mad. I really did. And so anyway, it, one of my buddies tweeted me this. He says, statistically, at least two Disney princesses have had abortions, <laughs> which was funny because, you know, he's he's probably right. And nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, he's he's joking about it, saying, hey, Kev, yeah, if you look at the you know, if you look at the demographics of it all, I don't know how many Disney princesses there are, but. You know, X number of women have had abortion. I just found it kind of kind of humorous. But but beyond that, it got me upset because, see, as I said before, the left is on a mission to defile everything good and wholesome. And their most recent attack against Disney princesses only goes to prove my point. They they deleted the tweet. Planned Parenthood got a so, you know, they knew it was going to be a bad thing when they did it. And so like all these leftists. They deleted the tweet. See, they run from the things that they say. I've said a lot of things that people go, Kevin, that's controversial. I go, nothing I say is controversial. It's not controversial. It may test your sensibilities. It's not controversial. Nothing I've said since I started doing political commentary have I for even remotely said I'm going to backtrack on. Right now, Laura Ingram backtracked on something about David Hogg because of uh, I maybe I think she kind of went after him and said this get, guy couldn't even get into colleges. He got rejected by colleges. Oh, there she's attacking a child. So they went after her sponsors. Let me tell you, Laura Ingram would not have apologized to David Hogg. I'm going to tell you right now, if Fox didn't ring her up and say, "Hey, Laura, we're getting a lot of negative feedback from the comments you made about Hogg. P- apologize," because they had me when I, I made the comment that the FBI could have potentially wanted to do some harm to Donald Trump. Oh, Kevin, because I, I was given the scenario of we don't know what those tweets meant from. They could be very innocent or they could be something very sinister. You're not saying that the FBI would have do something to Trump. I go, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the possibility exists that they could. Even when I walked, when I explained it, Fox called me. And said, Kevin, uh, you you know, we uh, really don't want to be talking about that. And, you know, pe- saying that the FBI might do something to the president. I said, that's not what I said. I said, it's a possibility in the range of possibilities. And st- could not get them to understand. And so the po- here's the thing. Well, we just don't like to generate any controversy at Fox. And I go, well, fat chance, Fox, because you know what? They're, whatever you say, whoever you have on it, it doesn't matter who says it, it's going to be considered controversial. Get used to it. The other side of the media has demonized you. They've put you into the category of conservative, even though Fox is far from it. And you're going to get demonized no matter who's on the show and no matter what they say. And, and it's strange to me that the, I mean, here you are in media and I'm from the saying, all news is good news. And they're like, oh, we don't want to be a part of that controversy. What controversy? You, by nature of who you are, are controversial. That's just what Fox is about. Anyway, that's why Laura apologized. But here's the deal. I wasn't apologizing. I'm not apologizing for giving you a true scenario of what possibly could happen because I don't trust this FBI. But Laura backtracked and did whatever she had to do. Back to Planned Parenthood. They removed their tweet and tried to pretend that they didn't say this. We need a Disney princess who's had an abortion. We need a Disney princess who's pro-choice. We need a Disney princess who's an undocumented immigrant. We need a Disney princess who's a union worker. We need a Disney princess who's trans. They did abortion, pro-choice, just call that the same thing, undocumented immigrant, Union and trans. They want a Barbie or some sort of a, you know, Disney character that is a trans union worker, undocumented immigrant who's had an abortion. Apparently, that will make Planned Parenthood happy. So the delete, the post rather, was deleted about two hours after they published it, but people grabbed it and then it went, they went up, people went off on it. Now, as I said before, if, if, if Disney characters were rewritten by leftists snow white would be knocked up by one of the seven dwarfs and then we see her on an episode of maury right and they're going to be trying to determine which of the dwarfs knocked up uh, uh, snow white because all the boys had a and i'm using my finger quotes a party with snow white that evening after they had some quaaludes and some drinks now 
Snow White, when she comes out on um, Mari, she's going to be an antagonistic person to the audience going, y'all don't know me. Shut up, y'all witches, except she'll use the B word. And she'll be like, y'all don't know. Don't try to judge me. I can just see Snow White doing this, right? And then so when they ask her, you know, why would you have sex with all seven brothers? She would say, because that's how I rose, baby. That's how we do it here in the, in the enchanted forest. <laughs> So this is the way I see Snow White if they rewrote the picture, you know, rewrote this character. What about Cinderella? You can bet Cinderella would be some transsexual who was abused by her very conservative stepmother and stepsisters who teased her for her boyish qualities. Right. And then she'd run away with Prince Charming who, of course, would be gay, and he liked her boyish qualities, and and he was really not Prince Charming. He's actually a sex trafficker named Lucius. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. Oh, man. So, get this. Cinderella breaks free from Lucius's powerful hole because he's got a sexia. A sexual hold. That's how black old black people say sexual. They say sexual. He's got a sexual hold over uh, Cinderella, who, by the way, probably changed her name. To, I don't know what Stormy Daniels. Okay, let's call her Stormy. And she moves in with an illegal illegal migrant worker and helps him in his plight to unionize day laborers. I'm just saying, what possible scenario could you come up with that the leftists are going to write about these characters, given what Planned Parenthood wanted to do? To the Disney princesses, Mulan and Belle and I don't know. What's the one? Uh, I always, I always thought this one was just hot. As far as Disney's char- Disney characters go, no, no, not the Little Mermaid. Even though, yeah, she's kind of hot. She just needs feet. No, the one who was Aladdin's uh, girlfriend, love interest or whatever you want to call it. Man, that gr- the Disney character for her, what was her name? I can't remember. Anyway, she was beautiful, beautiful, big old, you know, br- uh, brown eyes. Yeah, just stunning. They always make those girls stunning. Yeah, when you wish upon a star. <laughs> I am Jones in a little bit for her. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty. If she, The real life version of her psh, could have all my lunch money. That's all I got to say. She could have all my lunch money. Amanda Prestigiamo said this from the Daily Wire. She says, there's a lot of unanswered questions about the prospects of abortion princess, though. Will the devices used to perform abortions abortions be included, like forceps and manual vacuum aspiration? You know, with with the young girl who gets the the doll, the abortion princess doll, get to suck the child out of the uterus. (laughs) And she says, will we get a breakdown of the cost of the procedure? What about the the, uh, Planned Parenthood? Will they get to take the fetal tissue? Will, Will the physical and emotional scars so often left for women who've had an abortion be acknowledged? Of course not. Come on, Daily Wire. But it does make one wonder about the potential to rewrite these iconic characters, as I've already done to some degree. See, I could see abortion Barbie complete with a bloody baby and a release that you would have to sign to sell the baby parts to, I don't know, Planned Parenthood Barbie. And what about the wife beater Ken? Oh, yeah. What about handsome Harvey, the sex abuser? That's a doll people could go for. That doll, Disney should should get the rights to Handsome Harvey, the sex abuser. Cause, and it would come, that doll would come with a casting couch. Oh, yeah. yeah. See how much fun this can be when you put the leftism in it? All the female dolls of Disney and other dolls that you, you know, that they would maybe get the rights to would have lesbian counterparts just in case, you know, and they, they'd be renamed for iconic feminists like the Chelsea Handler Barbie super slut edition. And what about Hillary Clinton Barbie? The one that would scream at Bill, give excuses to why she lost to Trump, you know, and, and whatever. What, what else would Hillary's doll do? Oh, it would cheat you out of your money. You, you'd wake up in the middle of the night and your money would be gone. But why should we stop at Disney characters? Let's just go after everything that's sacrosanct, like Christmas. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember this. uh, uh, Slate did a scorching review of Hallmark's 25 Days of Christmas. And here's what they wrote. They bream with white heterosexuals who exclusively, emphatically, and, and endlessly bellow Merry Christmas to every lumberjack and labradoodle they pass. They centered on the beauty pageant heroines and strong-jawed heroes with, with white nationalist haircuts. That's what they wrote about Christmas. 
Now, Todd Starnes of Fox commented on Slate's article and said there were complaints about the lack of gay people and feminists and Muslims in Hallmark Channel's movies. Slate also whined about what it called the network's 42 hours of sugary, sexist, preposterously plotted, plot hole of festooned, belligerently traditional, ecstatically Caucasian cheer. Oh, you got to get that Caucasian in there because you can't have people, you know, being concerned about white folks. Now, how often is that? Hallmark paying tribute to heterosexuals of the worst kind, white people. And what we've learned in the era of Obama is America's too white, it's too hetero, and let's just cut to the chase. The Hallmark Channel is too conservative. And apparently so is Disney. Kevin Jackson on the Black Sphere Radio Network. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, Contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. 